hello everyone welcome back to our channel today in this video it gives a quick and detailed insight into the email marketing module of odo 15. email marketing is the advanced application of odo that can be effectively used to improve sales and customer attention quickly and it is one of the modernized version of the business management marketing strategy that can help to generate a huge amounts of leads and customer satisfaction so let's move on to the email marketing module so while entering we can see the predefined mails in the dashboard along with the date, subject, responsible person, send details, delivered percentage, opened, clicked, replied and also can see the status of the mailings. And here we can view the details in the list view, campaign view, calendar view and also in the graph view. And here we have the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. So if you want to view it in the detail, you can click on your respective mailings. And if you want to start a conversation uh, with a responsible person, you can click on here. So if you want to create a mailings, you can just click on the create icon. Before that, we can go to the configuration settings. Here in the email marketing section, we have the mailing campaigns. So we can enable this feature to manage the campaigns and A-B testing your mailings. And here we have the blacklist option when unsubscribing. So this allows the recipients to manage his date in the blacklist via the unsubscription page. And here we have the dedicated server. So you can enable this feature to dedicate uh, use a dedicated server for the mailings. And here we have the option to configure the email server. So we can save the changes here. Under the configuration, we have the campaign stages. So you can see the UTM stages like new schedule design and send. Likewise, we can create a new stages by clicking on the create icon. So here in this line, we can provide new stage. And here in the campaign tags, we can see the tags that have been created already. So uh, you can click on the create icon to uh, create new tag. Here we can see the link tracker. So here we can see the details like create, uh, create a date, page title, button label, target URL and number of clicks. Moreover, the window is providing the visit page and statistics menu that can be considered as the direct link to the website page. So while clicking on the statistics, you can see the uh, details here. So if you want to create a new link tracker, you can click on the create icon and can provide the URL uh, details like page title, button label, target URL and you can enter the UTM details like mass mailing, campaign, medium and also you can see, uh, set the source here. Blacklisted email address. So you can see the blacklisted email uh, that have created and here you can see the blacklisted date and the email address so likewise we can create a new blacklist email address by providing the email id that have been that have to be blacklisted now we can come back to the mailings and can create new one so here we can choose a uh, or can describe the subject of the mail And here uh, we have the option to use the smiley emojis and in the recipients field we can choose the recipients from the drop down menu and here we can also choose the uh, mailing list uh, here in the mail body tab we can choose a perfect mail body and here we can uh, start the uh, start to design and customize according to our wish. So here we have the block style and also have a select a template option. 
and in the AB test tab we can enable this option so while enabling this we can provide the percentage of the contact that will be mailed so the recipients will be chosen randomly so here we can set the percentage and here we can uh, select the winner selection mode so here we have uh, some modes like manual highest open rate highest click rate highest reply rate leads quotation and revenues so we can choose any type of uh, winner selection mode here and here in the send final on field you can set the date that will be used to know when to determine and send the winner mailing so you can set the uh, date here and also here we have the option to create an alter alternative version under the settings tab we can provide the email content details so here we can add a catchy preview or uh, to notice or to highlight uh, the mailings and here we can choose the responsible person and in the send from and the reply to field we can uh, specify the address that the mailing have to be sent and here we have the option to attach the file and in the tracking uh, section we can set the campaign uh, from here And here in the chat tab we can see the send message option uh, log note and also you can see the schedule activity option so after completing the steps we can save it so here we can see the option to send schedule and test so while clicking on the send uh, send button uh, a confirmation pop-up window will appear whether it wants to proceed or not so you can click on the ok to proceed it and here we have the schedule option so uh, by selecting the date the mail will be uh, sent automatically on the selected date and so, uh, finally we have the test button so this allows to send sample mailing to the test uh, mailing to test the operation to the addresses given so we can send this so here we can see the uh, mailings that have been created and it is in the uh, send stage Now let's uh, move on to the mailing list menu and here we have two options like mailing list and mailing list contact. So first we can go to the mailing list. In this window it depicts all the previously configured mailing list and it can be uh, view it in the Kanban and the list view. So here in the list view you can see the mailing list uh, is public. Uh, mailings percentage of bounce and you can see the percentage of opt-out percentage of blacklist and can see the recipients uh, number of recipients here so here we can see that the uh, mailing list are arranged in the separate can uh, separate cards and it includes the essential details like uh, list name uh, number of contact and here you can see the valid email recipients and the valid uh, SMS recipients and also you can see the uh, number of mailings, percentage of bounce, percentage of opt-out and also you can see the percentage of blacklist. So to view the contact in detail you can click on here. So here we can see the contact in the mailing list. So to, uh, if you want to create a new mailing list, you can just click on the create icon and here we can uh, enter the name. So here we have the option to uh, choose well, uh, is public option can create it 
so here we can see the uh, new mailing list that have been created so now let's move on to the mailing list contact So here we can see the details like created date, name, company name, email ad address and can see the email blacklisted, uh, contact number, phone blacklisted and can see the number of phones. And here it can be viewed in the list view, campaign view, graph view and also in the pivot view. So here we can see the mailing list by choosing the filters and also we can group it according to the creation date like your quarter month week and day and also we are here we have the option to add custom group so if you want to create a mailing list contact you can click on the create icon and can provide the details so here we can see the campaign menu and here you can see the pre-configured campaign and it can be viewed in both campaign view and also in the list view so in the list view, we can see the campaign name, responsible person, stage, and also you can see the tags that have been create, uh, added. So here you can see that the campaigns are in different stages like new, schedule, design, and send. And it is also possible to add a column or can create a new stage here. And also here we have the option uh, to you uh, can see the Kanban example, so you can set it according to the uh, examples that have been given. So while clicking on the respective campaigns, you can view the uh, details. So here we can see the details and here we have the campaign name, responsible person tags and here we can see the mailings along with the subject send date status delivered opened replied and can see the bounced and also here we have the option to duplicate so while clicking on the duplicate option here we can uh, save it and can uh, and here we can uh, make the changes So here we have the option to send new mailing, send SMS, send social post and push notification. And while clicking on the three dots, we have the option to edit it. And also we can uh, delete uh, the campaigns. And here we have the option to uh, add the color line for highlighting the campaigns. And also here we have the option to fold it and uh, you can see the option to edit the stage and delete it so if you want to create a new campaign you can just click on the uh, create icon and can provide the campaign name here and also you can choose the responsible person and the tax so now let's move on to the reporting section of email marketing so the reporting can be done by choosing various measures like bounced, cancelled, clicked, delivered, error, opened, replied, scheduled and sent. And here you can view it in the bar chart, line chart and also in the pie chart. And can uh, sort it according to the descending and ascending way. And also here we have the graph view, pivot view and also the list view. Here also we can choose various filters, group by and the favorite option. And here in the pivot view, uh, here also we can choose various measures and here we have the option to insert it in the spreadsheet. So we have been discussing about the features of email marketing in Odoo 15. That's all about the video.